Brazil is an extremely large, and I would say wonderful country because I've been there, but people get intimidated by Brazil because of its size. And the other thing that may surprise people is that Brazil can be very expensive if you don't know what you're doing. But we're here to help you out with that this evening. Today I have uh, Alison McGowan of HiddenPosadasBrazil.com and she's going to talk to us about Brazil in general terms, how we can get around, how we can get around cheaply, more importantly, um, and how we can have a better time in Brazil while keeping some money in our pocket. So, uh, Allison, uh, thank you and welcome to the show. Thanks very much, Brian. It's good, good to be here. Allison, um, I, I think people uh, would love to visit Brazil, but they don't have the foggiest idea of where to start, and especially when you're traveling on a budget. Um, where would you recommend people start when they start researching um, a trip to Brazil? Are there particular cities? that are more uh, for the budget conscious traveler? I think I would start with the time of year because the uh, Brazil has become extremely expensive as you said earlier on uh, and if you come in high season it's going to cost you a lot of money and it's very, it, it's very difficult to actually get away from that. So I would come in low season when curiously the, the weather is actually often better than it is in high season. And what would you and consider low season? The low season would be uh, after Carnival and before December the 15th, with the exception of the month of July, which, which becomes high season again. Uh, well, at least for 2011, from the end of March until, let's say, June, skip July, mm -hmm. and then from August until the end of the year? Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Okay. And, and that's all considered low season? It's all considered low season, but you also have to be careful about the uh, national holidays. Because when they have national holidays and they have you know, weekends around them, then all the posadas, they all put their prices up by, well, at least about 30%. Hmm. So you, uh, it's, it's worthwhile finding out when those national holidays are and trying to avoid them. Okay, okay. Now, speaking of national holidays, um, the one reason a lot of people want to visit Brazil is during Carnival, obviously. Um, and for good reason. Um, but are there any ways that we can save during Carnival? Because everyone in the world wants to be in Brazil during Carnival. You know, prices skyrocket. How can we save? Prices skyrocket. So the first thing to do is if, you, if you're definitely coming, then make sure you make your reservations very early. And that means at least six months in advance. Practically everybody everywhere that I work with is already booked, uh, booked solid for Carnival. Wow. Um, the, the second thing would be... Um, to go out with the blockers, the, the blockers are you know the street parties that happen uh, before carnival starts and, and during carnival, and they're in every different part of, of every every place that that, uh, that has it. Well, every everywhere in Brazil is carnival at the same time. Right. Um, but these these blockers, you you just go on and you party with people in the street. And uh, the other thing is that uh, the carnival parade is already well and truly booked out by by now. So mm -hmm. I mean, don't even try to get a ticket now. But what I've found with people that visit me is that quite often the night of uh, any carnival parade that they want to go to, they just go and stand outside and actually last minute they, they get quite good, uh, quite good prices for, for quite good places in, in actually to watch the carnival parade. 